Well, hello and welcome to the fifth video in this beginner's guide to Adobe After Effects. So in this tutorial, I am going to discuss composition in After Effects. In the previous episode, we talked about the timeline panel pretty much in depth. We talked about how layers work. So now in After Effects, all the layers that we see down in the timeline panel are contained in what's called a composition. Now, compositions are what we use to help build video presentations in After Effects. So in this video, we are going to be covering the following topics. What are compositions, composition tabs, and how to create compositions? So that means after this video, you'll have a much better understanding of how compositions work, and you'll definitely feel more comfortable when you move ahead. So, let's get into it. What is a composition? All right, so when you begin a new project in After Effects, you essentially start with a clean slate with nothing whatsoever. And when you begin an After Effects project, you typically begin by creating a composition, or comp for short. So it's done by clicking the New Comp button, or coming up here to Composition in the top bar, and clicking new comp all right for now i'm just going to click ok for our new comp with the new composition created you'll see that it is now shown in the project panel over on the left represented with the composition icon now in after effects a composition is represented by this graphic of a film clip with some shapes in this instance the comp is called comp one by default I didn't name it, and it has the default settings. With a new composition ready, we can see a blank screen in the visual composition panel and an empty timeline panel down here below. So a composition is essentially an empty vessel to place your media content into, such as video and text and animations or audio files. As you begin to add your media elements into the timeline panel, you will start to build your layers which creates a composition. All right, so now let's jump to an example. So in this example, we'll look closely into the timeline panel below. We can see that some of the compositions have been placed into another composition. Now some video or animated sequence can be very complex and require lots and lots of layers. So we can use compositions as a way to focus on particular sequences so that we can organize and manage the complexity in an overall project. Now, another way I like to think of compositions is to think of them as groups. So compositions can be used to group lots of layers, and then the individual comps can be placed into one main composition, like in this example. So let's take a closer look at this example that I've got open here to learn more about these compositions, because it might get a little confusing. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the timeline panel across the top here. So we can see this composition is two minutes long, and below this, we only have five layers. Now, if I drag my time indicator to the start and press the space bar to activate the preview, we can see that there are lots of things happening in the composition visually but there are only five layers in the timeline panel. Now, if you look closely to the left of the timeline panel, we can see the name and the icon for each layer. Now, these icons will indicate what type of layers they are, right? So in this instance, we can see that each layer is a composition layer. And we can tell this because of the icon next to each of them. So as you saw earlier in the project panel, again, we can see the composition icons indicating that these are compositions. Now, if we double click on one of these composition layers, and let's start with the video edit layer. So when you double click, this composition layer will now open in the timeline panel. And notice how we can see all the individual layers that make up this composition. So here we have the video, type, shape, and image layers. 
And we know this because of the icons next to each over here on the left. So now it's really important to note that a single composition like this in After Effects contains both visual and time information represented in two separate panels. So when we have a composition open, we can see the timeline information in the timeline panel here at the bottom, containing all the layer elements. And then above, we can see a visual representation of these layer elements in the composition window. Now, as you click on some of the layers in the timeline panel, we can see them selected in the visual composition panel above. So when creating a composition in After Effects, we'll use these two panels together to control the time as well as the visual dynamic of the presentation. Very cool. So the next thing I want to draw your attention to is the composition tabs. Now, what are these composition tabs? So currently we have this composition open. And if we look carefully in the top left corner of the timeline panel, we have a tab that shows the composition name. So notice that this is currently highlighted and just to the left of this is yet another tab. So if we click this, we can see that we are back to our composition called the full preview. So currently we have our full preview and currently we have our full preview and the full preview comp open in the tab. So next I will come down to another layer in the full preview and this time I will double click on the video edit text preview image layer. And then you see that when you double click the composition layer will now open in the timeline panel. So again, just like before, we can see all the individual layers that make up this composition. And now we have a new tab at the top of the timeline panel. So now this gives you the chance to navigate through your tab comps. Simply click on them to reveal them. And then if you want to close them back up, just click on the little X over the right tab. And if you want to open it up again, just make sure you go back to the full preview and double click it and it will reopen. So if I go back into the full preview, we can see that the single comp contains five composition layers. So for this project, I've chosen to organize my full preview into five separate compositions, right? So why would I do that? Well, in After Effects, we can use compositions as a way to focus on particular sequences and organize and streamline them into a project. So here each section has a complex video and animation settings with many layers. So I've got to organize my full preview in this way to make it uh, nice, complete, but easy to manage. Okay. Because I can manage each section individually. So my main composition is not full of layers and overly complicated. Now it also gives me the flexibility to move each section around as a whole and order the video sequence differently if I need to. Okay. So now that we know what compositions are, how do we create them? So yeah, there are a number of ways that you can create a comp. One way is to come to the bottom of the project panel here on the left and notice at the bottom of the panel, we have the composition icon here. So if you click on this, you'll get the composition settings pop-up box. And here there's a range of settings that we can customize. As a beginner, you really only need to pay attention to the comp name, dimensions, frame rate, and duration. So at the top, you can name your comp and I'm just going to call this new comp for now. And down below under preset, we can set the dimensions. So this by default is the original composition that you started the project with. So in this instance, it's 1920 by 1080, which is our current standard dimension for video. All right. So this is what we want for now. So when you move on to frame rate, it's regional. So that means that depending upon what part of the world you're in, um, you will need to assign a particular frame rate. 
Where I am in Europe, we use 25 frames per second. I'm going to be using that for now. Now, next is duration. And we can set this to however long we want our composition to last. So in this instance, I'm just going to make it 10 seconds. Now here you can also set the background color, but for now, I'm just going to set it to black. Um, great. So now that I'm happy, I'm just going to click OK. And then now I see the composition will open down here in the timeline panel. And we can see the time span is 10 seconds across the top here. And up in the visual composition panel, we can see the black screen. Now, it is important to note that when you create a new composition in your project, it will always appear in the project panel. If we look at the project panel here on the left, we can also see our new comp that's present at the bottom. Great, so now this composition is ready to start bringing in some visual elements to create a video sequence. But for us and for right now, I'm just gonna click the X in the top left corner here of the tab to close it. Because I want to show you another couple of ways to create a composition. First, you can simply press the keyboard shortcut, Command N on Mac or Control N on PC. Now, when you click, it's going to bring up a composition settings box, just like we had earlier. So I'm just going to hit cancel. And another way to create a comp is to come up here to the top menu, click composition click new composition and when you click on that you will see the composition settings again so in other words it's quite easy to create a new composition wherever you are so now once you've got a composition created you can edit it for example change name duration or the frame rate and to do this you can just come back over here to the project panel right click on composition and select composition settings so when you do that, you will see the same settings that you saw when you created the comp. That's a good thing. But here you can make any modifications and just click OK. Now, another way, for example, if you see a composition in your timeline, you can just double click to open it and then come up to the composition in the top bar and simply click on composition settings. And that's another easy thing to do. All right. So that brings us to the end of this video. So let's just review a couple of the key things to remember that compositions are like individual video sequences. So compositions make it a whole lot easier to organize complex projects. Compositions contain both visual and time information represented in two separate panels, the timeline panel and the composition panel. Now, as a beginner, there are a few important things that you're going to need to just absolutely crack down and master before you can move on. So review what you need to familiarize yourself, what you were perhaps a bit sketchy on. And then in the next video, I promise you, we will discuss the project panel in greater depth, show you about compositions as well as all the media elements that we'll bring into the program, how they're managed and placed into the timeline so that we can get ready for some editing. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.